In this lesson, we will be talking about what ions are. We'll be talking about cations as well, anions, and we'll be talking about element to ion changes. So right off the bat, we should be looking at reference table E and our periodic table. If you're looking at reference table E like we are, you'll notice that atoms or molecules with an electrical charge, like you see on table E, represent the fact that they have either lost or gained one or more mm -hmm. electrons. Everything on table E, by example, are molecules and they ha are ions. These on table E are going to be very important for chemical bonding. If you notice on table E in the top left-hand corner, those are going to be your only positive ions. You should probably make a box around them right now. Everything else on table E is going to be a negatively charged ion. You'll notice they have either a negative sign, which means negative 1. You'll also notice they have a negative 2 or a negative 3. We'll be discussing these charges in detail in a later unit. So now the difference between cations and anions. Cations are atoms that lose electrons and become positively charged ions. Metals do this. So every metal on the periodic table, if you look at it, you'll see in the top right-hand corner is a little plus sign. Okay. Anions, however, are atoms that gain electrons and become negatively charged ions. Um, the non-metals in terms of bonding are always going to be negatively charged. You'll also notice that the amount of electrons gained or amount of electrons lost are written in the top right-hand corner next to the elemental symbol. And that's what creates the charge. So when an atom loses an electron, it becomes a cation which means that the element actually gets smaller in size. So losing an electron, you know, if you have equal charges, if you lose one of those negative charges, the nucleus is going to be giving off more positive, so therefore cations are positively charged. If an atom were to gain an electron, it would become an anion. As you gain electrons, your atomic radius will increase, and as it increases, it also gains a negative charge. The reason why? Because there's more electrons than there are protons, so therefore it is negatively charged. So now we're going to fill in this chart. Remember the protons, neutrons, electrons from the last video can be calculated using the reference tables. Then the net charge, which you look at the top right corner of these symbols. And for the radius, you guys have to use reference table S. For the elements that have a zero charge, write down the radius that you see. For the elements that have a positive or negative charge, assume whether or not they get bigger than that number or smaller than that number. Pause the video and complete the quantitative data. So you're noticing in these charts that the elements themselves, those are the ones with the zero charge, they are going to be the ones you find right off the periodic table. But when these elements either gain electrons like sulfur or lose electrons like iron, their radiuses are going to change. As they lose electrons like iron, they get smaller in size and have a positive net charge, while if they gain electrons like sulfur, they will get larger in size and will have a negative net charge.